So what are 10 more hidden gems and secret spots around San Diego? Find out next on Jaycation. Hey, what's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the San Diego series and back by popular demand is the San Diego hidden gems and secret spots around town. Now, my first video I released last week just blew up on YouTube and I really like to thank everybody for watching it and all my new subscribers that have joined. I figured I'd do you justice and do a part two to the 10 hidden gems around San Diego. I'm at one right now, but we're gonna cover this place a little later. So let's rewind to JJ a little earlier on the first hidden gem. All right, everyone. So the first hidden gem on this list is really near to my house. This is Miramar Lake. And I wanted to show you the beautiful views you'll get of Miramar, of Mira Mesa, all the way to Mount Soledad and La Jolla. And you can simply just sit on one of these rocks and just look at the sunset from this far away and just enjoy the views of San Diego. There are so many other activities you could do at this lake. I usually do the five to six mile loop. You can go in and out of dirt trails. There's a paved road throughout the whole lake and uh, I usually go on that paved road. You can also go fishing. Unfortunately, there is no swimming at this lake. Parking gets really heavy here on the weekends and after work on the weekdays. So just be aware of that. So along the trail here on Miramar Lake, people biking and running and there's an overlook towards the end of the lake. And this is just a great area to go to because the parking lot is only a five minute walk away if you don't wanna go around this five mile loop. This is usually the end of my five to six mile run. Final straightaway until I get to the parking lot. That colorful parking lot down the way is the Scripps Ranch Library. And it looks like they have a little bit of uh, parking lot art. So down this way, you'll find all the areas where they have a little snack shack, the restrooms and more parking. And this left side of the lake is closed off. To the right of that barrier, you can go out and do some fishing. So the lake is surrounded by homes around Scripps Ranch, and we're right on the border of Scripps Ranch, Miramar and Mira Mesa. Also, they post the times when the gates open and close. So they open as early as 5.30 in the morning, and then they close down at six. Let's enjoy this view and move on to the next hidden gem in San Diego. All right, Jaycationers, we're here at the La Mesa Steps. Whew, I just went all the way down and now walking back up, tired. These used to be colored steps, but they're not right now. After getting our steps in, I'm out of breath. But this is a really cool stairway. You can even come to get a workout in, but it's in the neighborhood, so you gotta keep quiet. Before we move on to the next hidden gem, I wanted to talk about the La Mesa Steps. I actually thought they were gonna be multicolored steps at some part of those stairs. Now there is a beautiful view, so don't get me wrong, but it's a pretty quiet neighborhood over there and I feel like they took the multicolored steps away because it was attracting too many people to come and see it and take pictures. So I think that's the reason why it's no longer there. There were steps and then there was a nice colorful pathway. I wish I could show you guys, but uh, it's not there anymore. It's either not there anymore or I was in a totally wrong spot. But anyways, that still makes the hidden gem because that whole stairwell has a beautiful view of East County in San Diego and it is a nice little nature hike and it is quieter to go check out. Still makes the secret spots hidden gems list. So next on our hidden gems list, is Long Island Mike's here in Murphy Canyon. Now, I kid you not, this is my favorite New York pizza spot in all of San Diego. I know that is big words coming from a pizza guy like me, but I went here for years ever since it opened up. Mike is the most awesome dude, and he makes some of the best New York pizza, and he makes an awesome Sicilian pizza, and he only makes one a day in the morning. So you have to come here at 11 o'clock when they open. This place here is a hidden gem because it's in a business park off of the 15 freeway here in Murphy Canyon. It's here at Interstate Retail Center. And they also have a great buffalo chicken slice and a great meat slice. And I also love their enclosed pizza that they have, but I haven't seen them make it in a while. I'm telling you, all the pizza, it doesn't matter what you like. It's going to be good here. Also, they used to cater my old work, the San Diego Chargers facility, who used to be just right down the street. 
and they used to have a lot of Chargers garb here. But now that they moved up to LA, it's all been replaced with New York gear, pictures of Long Island maps, pictures of Yankees, New York Rangers, and Jets. So there's the Sicilian. And I really think that it holds a candle to Prince Street Pizza. Yeah, I said it. It holds a candle to Prince Street Pizza. Now there is the original one in New York City, the Prince Street Pizza there, but there is now a location in Los Angeles, which is like a two and a half hour drive. I'm not about to do that. And if you're in San Diego and you're just craving a really great Sicilian pizza slice, look no further than Long Island Mike's. All right guys, let's dig in to Long Island Mike's Sicilian Pizza. Cheers. Mmm. Nice and crunchy. The sauce is great. Nice amount of pepperonis. All right, it's all in the sauce. And Mike makes some great dough. I love it. Every pizza that he makes is on point. Mmm. Wow. Eat your heart out, Prince Street Pizza. So that was Long Island Mike's and his Sicilian pizza that he only makes once a day. Now let's move on to the next hidden gem. All right, Jaycationers, we're here at University Avenue off of City Heights looking for the Tony Gwynn mural. There is a beautiful mural right here, but I don't see Tony Gwynn. And ladies and gentlemen, there it is in this back alley, the famous Tony Gwynn mural. Now this is brand new. Not a lot of people have seen it yet. This was made by Ground Floor Murals with his old Jerry Curl in the back. This is the biggest San Diego idol of mine growing up playing baseball. And he's one of the hidden gem murals here in San Diego. There's also a Kobe one I wanna show you and then a greetings from San Diego mural. So stay tuned. And check out their Instagram, Ground Floor Murals, curated by Chorizo TV, hashtag Love City Heights. So that was my idol's mural, Tony Gwynn, number 19. We're gonna head over and check out the Kobe mural next. Also guys, if you're getting value from this video so far, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have just discovered my channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you get updates on when I post my San Diego live streams once a week and when I post these videos throughout the entire week. It says, I am possible. All right, Jaycationers, the next mural we're checking out is the Kobe Bryant and Nipsey Hussle mural here at Fuego. It's over off of Market Street off the 805. And Kobe was just a big idol of mine. There are actually a few murals here in San Diego that are actually remembrances of Kobe Bean Bryant. Before we move on to our next hidden gem, I also want to mention the greetings from San Diego sign in North Park. Now it's on the side of Belching Beaver Brewery and it's a really awesome sign that has some great artwork of places all around San Diego. And after you take a picture over there, make sure you hop into Belching Beaver and try their peanut butter stout. We're now here at Golden Hill for the next hidden gems here on this list. And it's the Victorian houses that are scattered around this beautiful neighborhood just outside of downtown San Diego. There are plenty of historical Victorian homes and it's just really cool to see and it's a nice walk around. And there's also a few great spots around here like Luigi's Pizza. It's been featured on the Food Network and many other TV shows. Now that is a well-known pizza spot in San Diego and it's one of my top five favorite New York pizza spots in San Diego. These are only a few gems of these older 1900s homes, but nice and colorful. Look at this, it's like a green and yellow facade. Beautiful homes. And all these Victorian homes are on the flight path of the airport. Let's see if we can find a few more homes before we uh, move on to the next spot. This looks like a street that has a lot of them. Look how quaint this house is right here. This is 27th Street, and it really brings you back to the early 1900s. That's just a few of the Victorian homes around here in Golden Hill. I'm sure there are a lot more, and there's ones that are a lot bigger that I've seen online, but due to time constraints, we're gonna go to the next spot. Just wanna show you guys these houses right here. Look at this. And then you got downtown San Diego down the way, but these are the beautiful old school Victorian homes. Look at that.
Does this remind you of San Francisco? Look at that. All right, Jaycationers, we are at our next hidden gem here in San Diego. Now it is in a touristy area, but it's in a place that you never would necessarily walk into. It's kind of hidden in the corner and it's the Alcazar Gardens here in Balboa Park. And it really reminds me of the Alcazar Gardens in Sevilla and it was modeled after it. So I'm gonna have to show it to you right now with these beautiful fountains, plants all around the area. Check this out, it's just a small pathway right across from the Museum of Us. And it's not that big of a garden. I mean, I've been to the one in Sevilla and it's way bigger, but this is awesome. Like halfway around the world to have a miniature Alcazar garden. I really like it. And shout out to my cousin, Kim, for telling me about it because I, otherwise I wouldn't have gone here. He also got benches with all this beautiful tile. And just across the way is the corridor. Also got these benches here you can hang out at. So if you turn back the clock and watch my Sevilla video, I do visit the Alcazar in Sevilla and it's where the Sand Snakes in Game of Thrones, they threw down with Jaime Lannister and Braun. And this kind of reminds me of it, just a smaller scale in San Diego. These are the awesome fountains around the Alcazar Garden. There's two of them that are featured here. It's just a nice little pathway to hang out. And you got the Museum of Man and the tower right behind you. A nice little hidden gem because I've been to Balboa Park a few times in my vlogs and I haven't even seen this place until now. There's actually a parking lot right next to the Alcazar Gardens. It's a really small entrance. It's just down that way. So if you just want to go to the Alcazar Gardens, I suggest you park here. There is an archery range on the other side of the parking lot and then this really cool canyon that has a nice stairway that you can check out. Look how giant that tree is in front of Alcazar Gardens and look at this. This is the stairway I was telling y'all about. Beautiful stairway that leads down to a trail. This right here is hidden in plain sight. It's right next to the Oregon Pavilion and Plaza de Panama but you don't usually go inside this area. I need to explore Balboa Park even more, but nice little hidden gem in a very touristy area. So the name of this trail is Palm Canyon Trail. And you can do that. Check out the Alcazar Gardens. And if you want to do some archery, the archery range is just down the way. Next on the list of hidden gems is Harper's Topiary. And it's a beautiful slope of a private residence. It's near Spruce Street Suspension Bridge. And they just have beautiful topiaries here in this area of town. We're near Old Town and uh, we're actually in Mission Hills. We have a bunch of people here hanging out and checking it out right now as we speak. Just down the hill is India Street near where Lucha Libre is and the airport. This is Union and Vine. Just look at this. So that's basically just a quick photo op but pretty cool to see and you can also double up and go try to check out the Spruce Street suspension bridge after or before or while you're doing the urban hike like I did in my previous video go check that video out if you haven't yet I cover the seven bridges hike around San Diego all right JKationers let's go on to our next hidden gem which is the Scripps Pier also in La Jolla below Scripps Pier the columns are so symmetrical and it goes out into the ocean and if you have the right angle it's such a pretty picture. Check out Scripps Pier. It's in La Jolla Shores and you can also you can park at La Jolla Shores. Check out Caroline's Cafe which is the only cafe around that area and then go below Scripps Pier and take a really nice picture. It's one of my favorite piers in all of San Diego. We've made it here to another hidden gem and it's here at Wind and Sea Beach. Beautiful picturesque sunset. Watch the waves crash against the rocks. But here it is guys, Wind and Sea Hut. And look at the sky in the background. Almost feels like you're back in the Philippines with this little hut style right here. Also a little fun fact, I've never been to this hut here in Windensee and I rarely ever visit Windensee and it is beautiful. 
between La Jolla and Bird Rock. I definitely recommend this. Look at that. Also, it's pretty cold today, so it wasn't that hard to find parking. There is street parking here, and there are a few spots in front of the hut that you can park at, but it gets pretty busy over there. So we made it to our final hidden gem in this list. It's the San Diego, California Temple. And I wanted to show it to you, but unfortunately it's closed. I found out through their website that if you're not part of the religion and you can't enter the temple, you can actually park here during its opening hours and check out the outside areas. And there's beautiful gardens and little pathways you can check out. A lot of people assume that you can't get in here, but you can. Obviously you see this up and down the five freeway when you're passing La Jolla and it's this beautiful white temple. All right, Jaycationers, I hope you enjoyed 10 more hidden gems and secret spots around San Diego. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate you giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I have a lot of San Diego content to come. I do live streams around town once a week. So make sure you check it out and hit the notification bell so you know when I go on live streams and these videos come out live on YouTube. Now, if you guys wanna learn more about San Diego, hear about the latest news, talk about places to visit and just the latest ongoings around town, I started a Facebook group called It's Always Sunny in San Diego and I'll leave that down in the description box below. And if you wanna support Jaycation in 2021, I'd really appreciate it if you check out my Patreon. I offer different tiers and I'm gonna actually do an exclusive video where I offer a couple more hidden gems around San Diego that I'm not gonna show on my channel but give exclusively to my patrons. Anyways guys, we'll see you around in the next video here in San Diego. And in the words of Ron Burgundy, stay traveling, San Diego. Mm -hmm.